Who was the Fens Phantom? Before the Great War, an unnamed detective's hunt for a serial killer leads him to the Fen Street sewers. There, he's met not only with four hollow tape recordings from the killer, but also his deadly displays, each marked with an X to denote his body count. The first recording is found right after descending the manhole into the sewer. It's revealed that the detective was contacted by the Fens Phantom and instructed to come alone. After passing some of the killer's works, you'll find the second hollow tape resting on a barbecue. We hear parts of the killer's motive on this tape. He explains that life on the surface is exhausting, and the only place he feels alive is in the sewer with his creations. Going left at a fork leads further into the sewer, and to a skeleton with a Brahmin skull and a bowler hat. Further in, the third tape is found. The Fens Phantom is getting anxious about their final encounter. He explains that they are each other's object of fascination, and no one really knows him like the detective does. The first room upon reaching the maintenance area has the fourth and final hollow tape. Their final confrontation led to the worst outcome for the detective, now part of the Fens Phantom Fatal Fanfare.